I think that went pretty well. He seemed pretty impressed. At some points, he just said, just sting with me. And I was like... <laughs> Today is my S mod interview. But the thing is, my suppliers are up now. But I woke up and they had texted me and I need to get quotes today. Like, today's the last day I can get quotes. Last night before I slept, I started having like bouts of anxiety. Not, not about anything in particular. It's just so weird because yesterday I had a really good day. I was really productive. So I have to like put in extra work and like affirming myself and taking care of my mental health and everything <sighs> I've been in and out of sleep and I finally got quotes Let's just start the day. Tempted to lay back down, but no. <laughs> You're learning and the future potential of this stuff and like what it could do more than what it's actually doing. So because I have some very unique products, I have to email my teacher about um, coming up with like an estimated <laughs> coming up with an estimated cost price so like a stool the cost price for a stool and the cost price for like a speaker and then kind of just like adding them up and then marking them up to kind of marking them up to kind of avoid you know any unexpected costs and then coming up with like a total cost Interviews in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Well, less than 30 minutes. I'm still making breakfast. Because <sighs> I decided to make French toast. I'm wearing really important pieces in my wardrobe. My favorite priceless pieces which is my mom's scarf and this um moonstone necklace that my grandma gave me because might as well have the energies of the two women who are into fashion or were into fashion in my life while I do a fashion business interview. Okay, the link works. I just need to set my audio. Do you know what's so funny about things like this? <laughs> 10 minutes before I'll be calm, I'll be okay. And maybe it's now time to like do the thing. I'll be sweating bricks. Like literally. I don't even think I should have worn this bra because I feel like it's holding me. <laughs> oh. mm, 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 mm. I'm just so happy I have my quotes. quickly changed up my setup <laughs> do you see what i'm saying bro like now that it's time i'm in charge of school life here at esmo fashion business and i'm going to be taking this interview with you today and roughly it's going to last about 15 minutes 
Okay. And we decide to to choose to do a master's uh, program now. Because <laughs> because knowledge is indispensable. There's no limit to what you can learn. There's I feel like there's if I've done three years now, and even with the three years that I did, I remember starting and obviously with the intention of okay yes I'm here to learn. But even a lot of the times I would be sitting in class like oh I've done this in real life. Yeah, I really just want to expand that and take keep taking that to the next level if I can. So if I do a master's, hopefully. Um, next thing I would love to do a PhD in fashion business. I know it's not really heard of, but <laughs> um, yeah. I hear a lot that people can, yeah, people can choose their their um, subject of study with PhDs. So fashion business would really be like an interesting part for me to really like um, explore and research like in real life and be able to like go deeper into that. For me, <laughs> for you. Um, yeah that is that is a very unlikely hypothetical situation because no. i feel like if i <laughs> i feel like if i'm working for someone i'm i'm humbling myself i'm knowing that it's not my space i'm working for someone so i'm everything that i know like the same thing with coming to school everything i know is out the door and i'm there with like a fresh mind and a fresh heart and just you know with the intention of like gaining a lot of knowledge so if from their perspective i don't know anything then yeah maybe i don't know anything or, or or do you think it's justified for people to just cancel them like like the way they are doing right now or do you think it's it's blown out of proportion a little bit i would say that on their end as a corporation who also has a very large parent company karen um I wouldn't like to come to any conclusions of why they did what they did because honestly i don't know but i would say from my perspective as a consumer as someone looking at the news someone um looking at advertisements on a daily basis um it seemed to me very negligent that they would um advertise something of that sort because it definitely did have to go not even negligent to be very honest i think more purposeful because um for a brand of that caliber to have gone through so many chains of command in their team and to have gone through too many people and too many processes for that advertisement to come out um I think there's a bit of purpose to what they did or a bit a bit of intention to what they did. I just don't think that they thought the the yeah, I don't think the, they thought the backlash would be that severe. And so which is why you see them taking irrational actions like suing the media company which to me didn't really make any sense because you give a media company a brief, right? And they follow the brief that you give them that you give them. Um so yeah, to me, it just seems a bit purposeful. I think that any and everyone has the right to do um, with their Balenciaga products what they what they wish to do. I mean, because they bought it with their money anyways. But um, just from that perspective of just like from a business perspective and from a um, maybe media advertising perspective, I think they were very intentional with their advertisements. Um, they probably just weren't ready for the outcome of what they were going to do or what they did rather that went pretty well uh, that went pretty well pretty well there was this question i answered and he was like that's the best answer that i've ever gotten you know we've asked so many people oh, why am i oh, why am i closing these tabs what is wrong with me but look <laughs> i think that went pretty well he seemed pretty impressed at some points he just said just sting with me and i was like Okay, so masters in the bag, two year program. Um, now I have to actually just get back into this present moment and figure out my Excel sheets. 
because that's what we're doing. We're figuring out the Excel. The collection features shapes and silhouettes fitting with Off-White's graphic codes, architectural linearity, and of the moment aesthetics. The eye were debuted today over a WeChat preview. An oversized square silhouette called the Catalina, replete with a red Off-White Arrow logo, will be exclusive to the app and to China, while other colorways of the same design will be available globally. Additional styles include a comprehensive range of concepts and colors, each with a singular, eclectic appeal personally overseen by a blog. This flow has decided to grace me with her presence. Exhausted is not the word. My stomach hurts, my back hurts, my life hurts. I'm just going to try and copy some excel like just make the format of what i'm gonna do rather than like actually working i shouldn't lay down because i just ate but my stomach hurts i'm not even okay even the work that i'm saying i'm gonna do i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it you i don't want to do it you never cast a stone because you know that tune and if you do it'll be too soon you created only a little lower than the angels, have crouched too long in the bruising darkness, have lain too long face down in ignorance, your mouths spilling words armed for slaughter. You may stand upon me, but do not hide your face. I'm now the reason for the argument. Am I unstoppable or immovable? A monolith. They always end up on the same note they started with. Immorality's heavy is what I'll sink to the bottom with. Let's talk about power and honor those who had it. Or... I'm gonna do report stuff now. Like, just put shit in my report. My business plan report. Fill it up and make sure that i have like because most of the things i have to do for my report are like copy and paste from the other things that i've done once i've like kind of like arranged it and like it's starting to like actually have content because my report still doesn't have content and i have one two three four days <laughs> four days till it's due I'm gonna fill up the report stuff while looking at the brief and I've decided to do that instead of Excel right now because one, Excel is not excelling, okay? Now I'm going to do everything till sales forecast um, and then I'll just have like five major things to do which will actually just fall into the Excel. Uh, so let's, let's get it cracking. Good evening. It's not every night I get to do this. Most of the time I get drunk and I end up clueless. But truth is, it's because I lack hubris. So I live behind the rubric, greatest dream, stay lucid. Three times a charm, I believe I live cubic. It's not the first time that I try to get through this. Alone, unknown, not everybody chooses to fly beneath the radar. That's what subterfuges, but I digress. I have a word for the lonesome. Storytellers in the crowd, please show some hands. If you try to fit in, try to grow some. And ended up breaking down, had to to expose some weakness you've been trying to hide taking in stride having friction with emotions but you let them slide and you never cast a stone because you know that tune and if you do it'll be too soon you created only a little lower than the angel my wings are made of plastic my wings are made of plastic when i tell you i've only done one two three parts of the maybe five things no 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 six six or seven things that i should have i should have done i've only done three i'm now on distribution strategy it's 8 47 my waist is telling me to go lie down but let me just try and do i must have done that somewhere so i'm just gonna copy and paste and then expand on it Today, we don't have class. It's just a workshop. I woke up less than 30 minutes ago and I'm deep into the throes of work. 
And I don't like that. Okay, I'm officially done with segmenting all, all the brands, bro. All the brands. All five of them. I'm just talking about... Basically, this is what the brief says. Um, here, competitors. Present your five competitors. Da 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 da. And so I've done all of that, and I put them in tables. These are their products. And now back to distribution strategy, which is right. Oh wait, no, this was product segmentation. Oh, I haven't even done this. Okay, but I have, but I just need to copy and paste it into here. So product segmentation. Just need to do that here. Okay. Another cup of tea because the first one just didn't bang. I just have three more left, so I'm going through the prices and then also for the cost i just realized that it does come with packaging but I, it doesn't come with um what's it called it doesn't come with import tax so i have to calculate all the total of everything that i'm ordering and then like the total units of everything i'm ordering and then times it by each of the cost prices and then add a 20 percent tax on top of it I just want to finish my cost prices and then go back to do my distribution strategy because I have an idea of what I want to do for my distribution strategy, but it's just so long. All this time in the blunt tool, you carved my name on the bronze bull. Raven scream for the new rules, but you can't make sheep what was once wolf. All this time been a blunt tool, you carved my name on a bronze bull. Raven scream for the new rules, but you can't make sheep what was once wolf.